I did a um, TR demo on Saturday this week, and we were talking about the tiara I did where I put alcohol ink onto the stones to just color them. So I figured I'd do a quick, quick demo on how this works. So this is just a basic tiara. Um, you can just put the alcohol ink on there, but all of these little crevices, unless you want it blue, are going to dye that color. So what I use is I use a Q-tip and I put a lot of ink on. I'm gonna start with a light color first and this Cool Perry is always my go-to light color. And I just start rubbing it on. So you can't really see it very well with these lighter colors, but you can just start putting them on there like that. And it's kind of changing the color. And then I would go in with a darker color. This is Glacier. And you'll probably see this one a little better, but it's still pretty light. So you can see it kind of showing on the camera. So you get that lightness to it. And then just go through and color the stones too. It's okay if you get a little ink on the outside, but you don't want a huge amount on the metal. So you go like this, get some more ink on here. Some more glacier. See, now if you put a lot on there, you can see it even better. Now remember, alcohol inks react with the things of um, alcohol that inks on there. So if you put a layer of a different color ink on there, it will sometimes start to kind of spot. This does not have to be perfect. It just needs to kind of get into the stones a little bit. So you can also just slowly rub it on there. Now for depth, I am going to take another color and I have this cobalt, which is a nice dark blue. So I'm just putting it, like I said, right on my Q-tip. And of course you need quite a bit to get it in there. So I'm going to put the cobalt kind of where the bottom of the crystal is. So you can see it a little better. This this one. Okay, so now you see, simple. Um, what I'm going to do then is not a lot, but I'm going to take a little bit of my 91% rubbing alcohol and just kind of rub it or pounce it so that it gets some of it off because you still want the crystal to show through. You don't want it absolutely covered with ink, but you can see now it looks more blue than just um, painted, which is the goal. You don't want it to look like it's been painted, or at least I don't want it to look like it's been painted. Maybe you do. So you get this in here like this. sides and then I'm going to rub it again. Oops, sorry. Again. And I do like three or four layers of this. So you get the crystal all over. Make sure you, this one's a little harder than the one I was doing because there's a lot of little crystals on the sides. Also add a little bit more depth to the piece, adding some color. Get the sides all the way. And I really focus on the multiple layers in the middle. I don't really worry so much about these outside pieces because nobody's really going to look at those. But now you can see the difference. So this is the blue side and this is the clear side. And to finish this off, I would go through and I would um, use the same thing I use for all of my alcohol ink pieces. I'd use a Kmar varnish on the outside, and then I would put a UV protectant spray over that. 
typically you can do um, two or three coats of that, of each. That way you get a nice um, coating on the whole thing. Okay, take my alcohol. And there you go.